Welcome to the Outdooraholic channel. My name is Nathan. We have a really exciting video for you this week. At the end of April of this year, 2021, my wife and I rode out to participate in the National Harley Owners Group Texas Hill Country Touring Rally. The event started at Cowboy Harley Davidson in Austin. So we showed up, got checked in, got a chance to walk around, look at some of the bikes, and went inside for the opening ceremony. The way these touring rallies work, they have a suggested route for each day with dinners provided at a different Harley Davidson dealership each evening. But it's not like a normal hog ride where everyone meets up and goes together, which is cool. It gave you a lot of flexibility and for us it worked out really nice because we went out there by ourselves and we ended up meeting some really cool people that we rode with. Uh, we met another guy from El Paso, Phil. I didn't even know he was going out there, but it was cool to meet up and be able to spend the, the week together. We also met a really cool guy, Jason, who used to live in El Paso, kind of hooked up with us because he saw El Paso on our shirt. And then during the opening dinner, we met up with Mike, Corey, and Manda, who had come out here from Idaho and Washington State. That group of us, and then me and my wife, we pretty much rode together the rest of the trip and had a really great time exploring the Texas Hill Country. The next day, the event started at Central Texas Harley-Davidson in South Austin. From there, we rode Texas 1431, which is also known as the Texas Hill Country Trail. It goes through the Balcones National Wildlife Refuge, out past Marble Falls, kind of paralleling the Colorado River. Then we went up through Kingsland where we crossed the Colorado and out to Llano where we stopped for lunch at Cooper's Barbecue. From there we headed south through Fredericksburg, Kerrville, and down to Bandera, and then back east through Pipe Creek, Bernie, and ended at Groon Harley-Davidson in New Braunfels. It was overcast the whole day and we did get a few sprinkles, but it wasn't bad at all. It actually was pretty nice. So hope you enjoy this montage of the ride for day one. start leaving New Braunfels because there was supposed to be a lot of rain in the afternoon. It ended up being overcast and we got a few sprinkles but again it wasn't bad. In fact by the time we made it back to San Antonio the sun had come out and it was getting very warm so we really appreciated those overcast skies. We start out heading up north through Blanco, Luckenbach and we had lunch in Fredericksburg at the Fredericksburg Brewing Company. Then we headed back south through Comfort, Centerpoint, Medina, Vanderpool, Utopia, and down to Sabinal, and then from there back east through Hondo, Castroville, and into San Antonio. Once we made it to San Antonio, we stopped at the Alamo and took our picture for the Harley-Davidson 10 Rides for 21 route, and then we went to the Riverwalk and stopped by Cowboys Alamo Harley-Davidson on the Riverwalk. Just relaxed for a little bit there along the water before heading to Cowboys Alamo City Harley-Davidson for a dinner and the closing ceremony. That night in San Antonio, there were some weather advisories for tornadoes and hail, and the weather got pretty bad, thunder, lightning, and everything, but luckily we were done riding by that point. And I know there were some tornadoes, but nothing that affected us or the bikes parked out in the hotel parking lot. Here's the rest of the footage for day three. <laughs>
on the fourth and final day of the Texas Hill Country Touring Rally, we left San Antonio and headed for Havelina Harley Davidson outside of San Antonio. It was overcast when we started, but started raining pretty quickly, and we were pretty soaked by the time we got to Havelina. We hung out for a little bit, had some breakfast, and then threw on our rain gear. We went up through Bernie and then out past Pike Creek and to Bandera. It rained pretty hard up until that point. However, by the time we got to Bandera, it pretty much stopped raining. Afterwards, we headed out through Medina, Vanderpool again, and out to Lakey. The start of the famous Twisted Sisters, Wrench Roads 335, 336, and 337. I actually made a whole video just on the Twisted Sisters, which are Harley Davidson's 50 Rides One Nation for the state of Texas, and there'll be a link to that above if you're interested in checking out that video. So we rode all three of the Twisted Sisters, and then headed back toward San Antonio through Utopia, Tarpley, Bandera, and Helotes. And we ended back in San Antonio at Caliente Harley-Davidson. After the closing ceremony, we decided to head to a bike night that Caliente Harley-Davidson was hosting. And we hung out for a little while, listened to some live music, and had some good times as we wrapped up the touring rally. We had some awesome rides and had a lot of fun with the people that we met and got to hang out with. And we're excited for the next one that we get to do, which will be the Border to Border Posse Ride in July. If you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, touring rallies, hog rides, visiting national parks, and also my fat boy build I'm working on, please subscribe to the channel and hope you'll join us for the next video. And without further ado, here's the rest of the footage from the final day of the Texas Hill Country Touring Rally. Enjoy. <laughs>